What's up, everybody? This is Kenny Commons here on Chilling with Kenny C right here on TMVCafe.com, bringing you entertainment to your ears. And this is a hip-hop show. So I got to bring some cats that are going to give you the bars, that's going to go in, do their thing. And uh, my first guest at this time is uh, representing one half of Sick Trinity. Uh, these fellas released their latest studio album, Free, last month. They got a song called Off the Whip featuring Will Talk. You can get that album on all the platforms right now. Go ahead and introduce yourself, man. Shit. What's going on, people? My name's uh, Easy606. Like he said, I'm one half of the underground's most sick, diabolical duo, Sick Trinity. Um, I hail from Kentucky. My partner, Wicked Ways, hails from uh, Kansas City, Kansas. So it's from KC to KY. You know, we're bridging the gap. Bridging the gap, indeed, from the Midwest uh, of Kansas uh, to right here in Kentucky. So easy. Great to have you on and uh, have this interview with you. Um, we'll definitely we'll be talking about this recent release project from uh, Sick Trinity. Um, well, first things first, man, talk about how did Sick Trinity got together? How did y'all linked up? All right. Uh, well, we linked up about 2010. We linked up on uh, MySpace, Facebook. I can't remember which one it was at that time because I know it was about the time that MySpace crashed. Um, we linked up. They had he had he actually had another group called Wicked Ways. Like it's his soul, it's his stage name now, but it used to be a group. And they had had a falling out, and he was looking to do another group type of thing. So we had done tracks together before when we first met. So we kind of got to chopping it up, and we're like, man. People are digging the tracks. They like our sound together. Uh, let's let's see what we can do. So we dropped a couple more tracks. People were people were digging it. Um, we were actually in talks with uh, one of the guys that really molded my style, which was Brother Lynch Hung. And we were in talks with him about doing like a little mini tour with him, which would have been like. I don't know. I probably would have been on another planet if that had actually went through. But unfortunately, my partner got in some legal issues and had to sit down for about eight years. So um, during the time he was away, I built my name. I built my solo brand. Um, I toured, did shows all across the uh, United States. I probably did about 400 shows while he was away. Um, built my name, put a couple uh, projects out. I had a label of my own at that time called Rare Breed Music. Um, I did a couple compilations with as that label. Um, uh, just consistently dropping music, doing shows, staying busy, keeping in contact with him while he was on the inside. And about two years ago, he was released. Uh, he, he went home as soon as he got home. Hell, I don't even think he was home a week, and this dude's already out doing shows again. Like he, as soon as he, as soon as he hit the, the 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 soil, he was running. So he hit me up, and he's like, "Bro, we need to make it shake now. Like we we're getting older. You know, I lost eight years of my of my career. Um, let's do something, and let's do it now." So we ended up talking, throwing ideas out, and I came up with Sick Trinity. Because there was an actually a third member that started with us. Unfortunately, it didn't work out with that member. So we had to let him go. And instead of pulling somebody else into the mix, what we decided to do was keep the name Sick Trinity. But our third member is actually more of a, a mindset, like a physical presence. It's the demon that resides in both of us. So, like, we're the devil, wicked ways, the disciple, me, 
And then the demon used to be a third member, but now that demon is our demons. If that makes any, if that makes sense to people. Yeah, it definitely and we, does. And we pull from that demon. Like if you listen to our second album, not this last one we just dropped, but the one before that memoirs of a sinister mind, we incorporated the demon in a lot of things. Like you'll hear some of my bars, they'll go baritone. And that's the demon speaking through. That's when the demon's speaking through me, like I'll baritone myself. Yeah. Kind of gives it a unique feel, you know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely, man. So that's definitely um, a lot has went down uh, just to get set Trinity together to make it into a thing. And uh, it was a long time coming, man. It was it, it faced it, a it, lot it, of adversity. Yeah. Face a lot of adversity, trials and tribulations, things of that nature. And we're still facing them because yeah. of the circumstance of my partner's incarceration. I'll I'll put it out there. I'm not going to speak a lot on it, but I'll put it out there. And it's free. Anybody who wants to go on the internet and look it up. It's it's there to see. Um, he actually uh, went away for a murder charge. And he actually was proven innocent. He didn't kill the person. The person he was with killed the person. But he was blamed for that said killing. And now we have haters out there that like to gun for us. And every time we're involved with a, a, a show or a festival or anything, those people will get hate mail. Like people will follow us around and try to derail us on everything we do. The Gathering of the Juggalos, hate mail. There was another festival we were going to do called Midwest Slaughter Fest, hate mail. Um, interviews that I've done with different radio podcasts, hate mail. You know, so it's not me, but they're attacking him, which is a branch of me, you know? Yes, that's unfortunate. Um, you know, this is. You know, dealing with those circumstances is unfortunate. Um, but at the end of the day, y'all y'all doing what y'all what y'all gotta do to to get your name out there. And you know, people are gonna do whatever, no matter what. Um, hopefully, you won't get hate mail because of this interview. Uh, but you know, just I'm just happy to have you on. You know, we've been Facebook friends for quite a while. And uh, you reached out, and I uh, said, "Man, let's let's do this." So I'm um, happy to have. So I'm definitely happy to have you on. Um, I so keep my eyes you. on you, brother, because I like your. Um, I'm a big wrestling nerd as well. Yeah. Uh, guilty, <laughs> guilty as charged. Yeah. Uh, so I definitely see your content. So I was like, "Oh, we got we got to chop it up with Kenny." <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out to the wrestling fans out there, man. We 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 a crazy bunch. Um, uh, just we just love the art, the entertainment, and things like that. So, um, it's it's, it's it it keeps us going, man. It's, it it it's insane. Only people that like yourself and me can understand just wrestling and what it means to us as fans. So, and so it's 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 special man it's fun to watch you know it's, I, I can't get enough of it as you can tell plenty of content out there it's, it's uh, an entertainment thing like you just said I, w one thing about Sick Trinity we're not just about like getting on stage and rapping in front of people yeah. like we don't believe in just going up there and just holding the mic and rapping like we don't do that we, we're big on entertainment like our gimmick with the whole glow, the glow paint. Um, we do a little bit. We we dance. We do like theatrical stuff. Like I like with me being a big wrestling fan. Like I'm big on I'm big on like promo type shit and fucking with the crowd. Yeah. You know, you know I I love just the whole entertainment aspect of it. Like making people, you know, like damn, them motherfuckers was cool. Like you know. Yeah, so I noticed a post that you made um, earlier today, and I want I, and I want and I want to get into that post. Uh, this is from your your page um, earlier today, 
He said, I refuse to put myself in a box as an artist. I love my juggalos, but I'm not a juggalo rapper. I love my horrorcore people, but I'm not horrorcore. I try to keep my sound as unique as possible and put a mixture of all my influences into one. I don't want to sound like another artist or be referenced to another artist. I want to I want to be me. This next album, I will prove that point. Mm -hmm. uh, so prop, props to you on that, man. Just it seems like more artists are showing some versatility, showing more of their interests through their music. Mm -hmm. uh, so so talk about that post, man, just showing some versatility, you know, mixing the juggalo, the horrorcore, and other interests into your music, whether you as a solo act or whether it's for Sick Trinity, man. So talk about your, your versatility as an artist. Well, basically... Sick Trinity is uh we do what you call sick hop. It's it, it's a it's a mixture of the wicked shit and gangster. Like, you know, we're both we're both street dudes. We both we both were raised in that atmosphere and so we both have our street smarts and you know, we know how to maneuver and, and, and things of that nature. Um so we do what we call sick hop. We kind of we kind of mix them together. So we don't go too far. We're not like we're not considered, you know, horrorcore. We're not considered gangster rappers. We kind of like to put it, mix it all in together. Uh, me myself, as a solo artist, bro, my music, uh, like influences are very are deep. Like if you saw my play, some of my playlists, you'd be like, this dude is nuts. Like I listen to metal. I listen to country. My favorite genres R and B, believe it or not, like uh, '90s R and B, uh, rap, the early rap, um, um, like uh, some of the soul music, like Curtis Mayfield. Um, let's see, um, Roger Troutman. Man, like my mu like my playlist is crazy. Michael Jackson, Prince, like <laughs> it's just. It's out there, bro. And I like I'm I'm big on lyrics and I'm big on and being able to relate to something. So if if I can relate to what you're saying, I mess with it. I mean, I like beats too, but I'm not as big on beats as I am word wordplay, like uh being able to to understand what somebody's saying. And I try to be as precise as I can, like, you know. I can rap quicker. I have a very, I have a very gritty style, a, a very, a very slow and gritty delivery for a reason. Cause I like to, I like to put it out to where you can understand it. Sure. I can rap quicker. And then you'd be like, what, what did you, what did you say? Like, what was that? No, nah, I want you to know what I said. So I like to mix different styles together. I've got influ like I said, influences from everything. So depending on what album I'm doing or what feel it is or what mood I'm, I'm a big mood writer too. So if I'm in a bad place, you're going to get some dark fuck you music. If I've been through some kind of, if I'm messing with a female and she fucks me over and it's like that, you're going to get breakup music. You're going to get fuck you bitch. Like you're going to, you're going to get that type of stuff. If I'm just chilling and vibing and, and living life, you're going to get that smoking rod music. Like it's, it just depends. I'm a big mood writer and what, whatever, uh, what's needed at that time. And this new album, what I'm wanting to do is I've done sick Trinity now for three albums. My last solo full length album was 2017. So it's been a while. Uh, that album was predominantly pretty much Juggalo Horrorcore. Then I jumped into Sick Trinity, which is pretty much the same Sick Hop, the same lane, kind of. So now I'm looking at it like, man, I'm going I'm to show people something. Like this next album, is called, it's going to be called Lyrical Lunacy. And 
you know, anybody knows what, you know, you can search the definition of lunacy and think about what I'm talking about, lyrical lunacy. Like, it's going to be off the charts. It's going to be um, different styles. Like, you might hear outlaw rap. You might hear a little bit of country rap. You might hear some harder stuff, like Limp Biscuit, Linkin Park type shit. I'm talking to a band, maybe a few live instrument tracks, uh, maybe a couple girl songs, maybe a couple smoking songs. You know, Hell, I might even throw, a, I might even do a wrestling related track, like nothing, <laughs> but, like nothing but wrestling bars. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just something like that. I'm all, but, I'm all for the wrestling bars. I'm all for the wrestling bars. I have one. I had one in the new album. Um, I say, I said something about these people about to. I said something about these people about to meet their maker. I got my eyes rolled back, looking like the Undertaker. And uh, right when I say it, like I got my eyes rolled back, looking like the Undertaker, I got that. Oh yes. Yeah, I got that. The hits in the background. It's just crazy. Yeah, I've heard a couple of songs on the recent release album three. Uh, for Sick Trinity, so I'm definitely going to listen to it again um, after the show ends. I think that song is on All I Do Is Sin. I think it's my verse on All I Do Is Sin. Okay, I'll definitely keep an eye on that for sure. Um, I'm joined with the homie Easy representing Sick Trinity right here on Channel and Kenny C as he has announced uh, he's working on his next solo project Lyrical Lunacy He's confirmed the title of the album. It's coming. It's coming soon. Be on the lookout for it. But for the time she being, for October. Okay, coming in October, coming in the fall of this year. So be on the lookout for that. But until then, go listen to the latest project for Sick Trinity called Three, uh, as in Woman Numeral Three. Uh, hmm. That's available on all the platforms. Uh, check it out, man. So, well, man, it's good. You know, let, let's, you know, since you are, are familiar with my wrestling content, we'll go ahead and talk some wrestling right now, man. Like, uh, it's, it's been, let's see, we've about a little over four plus months into the year. A lot has happened. With some mm-hmm. of these promotions. Um, how are you feeling about wrestling in general in 2023? What's some of your favorite moments or favorite matches that stood out to you this year wrestling wise oh man um it's been crazy um i haven't kept up with AEW as much lately i've been slacking because i've been real busy but I, i keep up with wwe quite fluently um and with wwe it's been so crazy with the whole acquisition with the sale and everything with yeah. you know Vince coming back and then Vince took Vince took the reins there for uh, like I know he interfered with WrestleMania and the the oh, Raw yeah, after yeah. Mania. Yeah, he did. He yeah. kind of made a few he kind of changed some stuff that people weren't happy about. Yeah, he did. But now that the the acquisitions happened and and everything else, I guess uh Triple H has been given complete control back. So, so I'm starting to see some of those changes come into effect. Yeah. Um, man, I'm loving, I was really loving the whole uh bloodline shit with uh with with um with Sam. KO. Yeah. And I was really loving that, but I'm it still might happen, but I was really hoping that that Jay was going to turn. Yeah. Uh, that him and Sam, like, what, remember the the raw where he told Sammy he's like, you know, I choose you or whatever. Yeah. Yes, he did. Yeah. Man, I got goosebumps, bro. Like, I, I was like, I was like, hell yeah, you know, Jay, go because I, I want to see Jay beat Roman so bad. Like, um, I don't know what it is, man. Just I'm tired of the. The the nine hundred and seventy some day rain. I'm ready to see somebody <laughs> else get some shine in. I'm glad that they split that title now. Yeah. 
Well, not that title, but they, you know, they got another he's, title. He's on SmackDown and the world ch- uh, world champion, which is most likely going to be Seth Rollins and not a champion. Yeah. Year. Um, I like that they did that because it was starting to get stale with just one major yeah. championship. I don't know what they're doing with that with all the other shit. Like, I don't know if they're going to split the tag titles again. Yeah, well, well then, you know, of course, Bianca and Rhea, they got the woman titles. Of course, Rhea, she's on the wall with the SmackDown title. Bianca on, yeah. actually, yeah, yeah. She Rhea got the SmackDown title. She's on wall. Bianca is on SmackDown with the wall. The wall title. I think those they should they'll just switch them. Yeah, just they'll just switch, switch belts them. like they did with Becky back in the day. Yeah, and uh, New Day and Street Profits years back. Yeah, they had the tag team titles. They switched brands. They exchanged titles. So they can do that with them. They can do that with Rhea and uh and Bianca. Uh, so yeah, the, the bloodline hands down. That's been the story for me. Uh, just the storytelling, everything. Sammy pulling the wedge, trying to get Jada. Look, man, you ain't gotta take this for Roman, man. You can be your own man. Like stand mm-hmm. up to him. Don't let him talk to you like that, man. Just be your own man. You are Jay Uso, man. You was your own man until Roman came along, and maybe yep. this and what all members of the bloodline on SmackDown. It still might happen, but. I don't know. They just want him. They just want oh, well, him to be a world champion for a thousand days, and then we'll see happen after that. But yeah, it's, it's the J turn still might happen, but we'll see. It's got to. I mean, either that or either either that or he might even have to turn solo. Might end up making that decision yeah. because the, that's boiling, bro. Like, yeah, solo is ready to take his head off. Man. Solo is no joke. He's he doesn't even sit, he don't even have to say a word. He just look at you funny like Yeah, that's <laughs> man, like I think he's got the wrong dad, man. I think Umaga really should have been his dad. Like yeah. he's so yeah. much like Umaga, it's not exactly, crazy. Man. Same the body spike. the yeah. same body and everything. Yeah, he, he now well solo he doesn't do off the top rope like Umaga. He does everything yeah. else. The the body type, the yeah. move set. The, the Samoan spike, dude. He, the kicks, all that Umaga, stuff. Yeah, Umaga reincarnated, man. It's just wow. It's, yeah. Somebody got some. Somebody in that family might have some explaining to do. <laughs> <laughs> man, it's I'm, hard to keep up. It's it's hard to keep up. Who's related to who? All I know is Jimmy, Jay, and Solo. Those are brothers, and then of course the woman, the cousins. Yeah, I'm trying, I'm trying to figure out if Dwayne, aka the Walk, is he like a, a uncle to him? Or they uh, said the way I've understood through numerous research and parties yeah. was that he's not blood; he is part of their tribe. Because, like in, in you know, in Hawaii, they go by tribes. Yeah. So I don't think that he's blood related to none of them. I think he is. He was. He's their tribe, though. Like he's the big Kahuna or whatever, you know. Because <laughs> uh, a buddy of mine lives in Hawaii, and he told us that when the Rock comes to the island, they shut everything down. Like it, he is like the man in that in in Hawaii. Like they treat him like president. You know what I mean? Like. I just, it's crazy. Like I that would, XFL, which by the way, the championship game is this Saturday. I think a lot of people really wanted Rock versus Roman, especially at Hollywood of all places. I was so, waiting for it, bro. I was waiting on I yeah. was waiting on that music to hit, you know, especially when he started <laughs> when he started already. talking about how he was he was the one and da 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 da. I was and ready. Then, to hear that Rock, music and Rock in, in recent interviews, like in months back, he was like, "Man, I, I'm the dude. I'm the guy. I, I, you, I paved the way for you, Roman. You know, I, I'm that guy. Like, you, you saw me as a, as a young kid. Like, everything that you've done, I've already did. 
man. Championships, mm -hmm. main events, all that. I did that in six, seven years, bro. Like, <laughs> I'm that dude. Uh, I'm so, wondering if they'll ever make that happen or not. Like, WrestleMania next year in Philly, perhaps. I mean, that was when Woman won the Royal Rumble at Philadelphia, and Rock was there, pulled his hand up. The fans were booing him, booing Roman at the time. This was big dark days. Oh, yeah, that's when they hated him. Yeah, that's when they just... When they first brought Roman in, they hated him because they thought that yeah. that he was, that they were going to hand him everything. Yeah. He, 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 and then he, after he got leukemia, when he came back, he became... Tribal chief. Yeah. Yeah. They Paul liked Heyman, him, like, like, Paul Heyman don't miss. He don't miss. When no. You, when, you, when you link up with Paul Heyman, you know, look at Brock, look at CM Punk, look at some of the other guys, even back in the 80s, while Samoans, like, mm -hmm. they are automatic success when you link up with Paul Heyman. And he better be in the Hall of Fame in Philadelphia, birthplace of ECW. You better get some ECW in there for that Hall of Fame class. That's probably one of the few things I want to see. It's, it's at Philadelphia. Philadelphia is crazy. That's one of the most passionate wrestling cities uh, in the world. So get, get, get some extreme resemblance in next year. Um, I was hearing someone say they should, there should be an ECW show at WrestleMania weekend, like a one-night stand like they did years back. Um, That'd be dope. Yeah, you know, so I, I'm all for that, too. Um, so easy, man. It's great having you on the show, man. Thank you so much for your time. Um, great having the chat with you. Yeah, I'll be on the lookout for lyrical lunacy for easy coming in October. Be on the lookout for that. Sick Trinity's latest album, three, which he has on the Zoom there, Woman Numeral Three. That's available on all the platforms. He's got CD copies. Just get in touch with the Sick Trinity. Um, social media sites, and uh, he's got the CD cover and everything, man. So go, go, uh, get in touch with with Easy if you want a CD copy of that. Uh, thanks. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I know a lot of people's not. You know, a lot of people's are still old school. And they like to have something in their hand, especially if they can get it signed or something like yeah. that. So we have hard copies available for all those people. And then, of course, for the new generation, we got the digital. So, yeah. So, if you want the hard copies, man, get in touch with the Easy Through Six Trinity social media sites, and uh, they will make it happen for you. Uh, yeah. Good talking to you, man. You enjoy your night. Enjoy the rest of your weekend, man. You too, brother. All right, you take it easy. Peace.